All right, hello timber classes and welcome to online learning. If you are coming to school still, uh, you will be doing these activities the same as what you would be doing at home. If you have access to a computer, all these activities that I'm about to show you are, um, are fine, access to a computer and the internet. So you can complete these activities from home or at school. If you are coming in, you can still complete them the same but the content will not be any different. For those who are thinking, ah, oh, if I go to school, I get to do prac, that's not the case. You won't get to do any prac if you come to school. You're simply doing the same stuff that the kids are doing from home, only you'll be coming to school, sitting in the library or the resource center or wherever it is that you've been allocated to sit, and you'll be doing it on your computer there rather than doing it on your computer at home. So it's really gonna be the same thing whether you come into school or not. So what I wanted to show you guys uh, I am going to be showing you some tutorials on how to use some CAD software. For those who don't know, CAD stands for, that's C-A-D, stands for Computer Aided Design. And we are going to be using some CAD to design some uh, timber projects. It's really going to be an a, a, a learning to uh, use the basics of this program. And what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how to set up an account. So if you can open up your Google Chrome browser, it does need to be a Chrome browser. If anyone's using Internet Explorer, please don't. It's only Chrome. Um, and you can type in this word. We're going to use a program called OnShape. OnShape. Okay. And that's the top hit there. So when you click on OnShape, it'll take you to this screen. Up the top here, you'll see a button that says Sign In. If you click on that, It'll take you to a second screen here, but you'll notice that there is a little little button here that says sign up. So you can click on sign up. Now, there are, I think I have a few people who have already got created an account. You guys would have already done this, but for those who haven't, you need to, so once you've hit sign up, you'll scroll down to on shape for education. That's the middle one here, and you're gonna create an education account, okay? Now here, from here, it's kind of following the prompts. So <clears throat> um, here you just need to fill in your information, your first name, your last name. When you fill in your email, make sure it is your school email account, that www.stu.catholic.edu.au account. Um, that is your school email account. If you do that, you will get the program for free, okay? Um, you can put in whether you're a student or an educator, you guys are a student, and the school level, so this is asking for, you're gonna be looking at K to 12, okay? The next few prompts, uh, I'm not gonna be able to go to those accounts at the moment, because I'm not making an account right now, I've already got one. But on the next screen, it will also ask you for your phone number. If you have a phone, put your own phone number in there. If you don't have a phone, put your parents' phone number in there. On shape, really, I'm never going to call you, so don't worry too much about putting your phone number in there. Um, they're also going to ask you to put your uh, your your school's um, uh, URL page. The way you can do that is you can just simply open up a new tab and search Kildare Catholic College and go to their web page. And simply copy and paste the URL at the top here. It's just Catholic, KildareCatholicCollege.com. Okay, you can copy and paste that and put it into the section that they ask for here. And for the question that says, there is a question that says, what are you using Onshape for? Simply write, we are right, we are using Onshape for technical drawing. Okay, because that's what we're going to be using it for. So that's how you're going to create an account. You've Pretty much following the prompts, you'll create a password, make sure it's something you remember. I tend to tell kids to make sure it's something that, uh, make sure it's the same as their student login, only because then they don't have to worry about ever forgetting it. Um, however, if you do forget it, you can always reset it by using that email. So they will send the link to your email and you can reset the password through there. And quite often they want you to verify your account, so you may have to go to your emails after first making an account and then verify that this is you. Okay, before actually opening into Onshape. Okay, so that's how you make an account. The last thing I'll we'll actually do is <clears throat> I will show you once you get onto Onshape. 
because Onshape is an American program, they like to do things like Americans, uh, which means they like to work in millimeters. So let me just log into my account here. And your account will look pretty much like this, only you're not going to have a list of all the projects down here. These are all the projects that I've made in the past. You won't have any of those. If it's your first time making an account, you're going to have nothing here. Okay. But when you get to your account, you're going to need to go up here to where your name is written at the top right hand corner of the screen. And you're going to click on that little drop down menu and you're going to go to my account. And you're going to go to the section here that says preferences because you need to change the units of measurement to be millimeters. Your account, mine is already set to millimeters, but yours will be set to inches. You need to make sure that it is set to millimeters and that the mass units is set to kilograms instead of ounces or pounds or whatever it's usually set on. So kilograms and millimeters, they're the only real settings that you need to change here um, once you've created an account. And like I said, that's really only because it's an American program and they like to use inches um, we, we, we're not going to use that so now that you've made an account you've finished today's activity um, what i will be doing next i'll be posting a next uh, the, the next video will be showing you how to create a document and how to draw some basic shapes in that document so you can look forward to seeing that shortly but at the moment this should now have shown you to how to make an account all right great i'll see you later